people who are out there in Singapore, and thank you so much for joining me on the Night Owl podcast. I am finally taking a deep breath because it's been a very long day. I've been working on publishing all these podcast episodes. Really, really pleased with everything that's turning out so far. Doing pretty well on doing a little bit of catch up, and um, I felt pretty good until my uh, manager actually asked me for a highlight reel. So I then like froze in my place and I was like, oh my God, what do I know about making a highlight reel? I don't know. So I started doing screen grabs and tried to put the video together. But in the meantime, baby girl came home and I realized when she came home that she was in tears and she was really, really upset. So I found out that she's been going through a little bit of bullying, right? And it used to be a little bit of playground bullying. She's had bullying before, you know, in school itself. But this one seems to be a little bit different because it seems to be very, very targeted to her and it's in front of everybody. So I had to sit down and ask her what happened and try and explain to her that it may not be anything she did. It might be, it might not be, I don't know. But the point being that somebody seems very hurt by them, by her and is trying to take it out on her and prove a point wasn't very happy about that explanation and probably wasn't the best explanation either but I did the best I could with what little information I had but then I was faced with this choice what do I do do I get involved do I say something to the teachers do I bring it to the attention of the school what do I do I'm not going to divulge exactly what happened because it's still investigation pending at the moment as in to find out who the culprit is or whatever but I will say this the amount of conversations I had today gave me a real insight into what bullying looks like in Singapore. Um, a lot of people were like, you know what, you should contact the student care center. Guess what? I've already talked to them. I talked to them on Monday. I talked to them yesterday. I talked to them today. Um, a lot of people were like, oh yeah, you should get the police involved because you know what? This is, bullying is a crime in Singapore. You can't allow this to happen. You need to get them involved right away. And I'm thinking, okay, but yeah, but that will have its own set of repercussions. Let me think some more. Another person was like, no, you need to let the student care center kind of figure it out for themselves because you don't want to rush them into making a decision before they've done due diligence. You don't want to force their hand because it could have bad repercussions for everybody involved. I was like, all right, I get it. I understand. Uh, I see what you're saying there and I let it be. Finally, I had someone who was able to talk my kind of language. Now, as angry as I am, yes, I could definitely go down, down there and be belligerent in front of the teacher and the students. I could definitely go down there and like address the students, but I don't have that right. They're not my kids. I'm not a teacher at that facility. The best I can do is talk to the teacher. And if I were to get in the teacher's face and start yelling and screaming, guess what? They would mark me down as one of those those parents, you know, those parents. So, oh my God, anything this child does, you better, you know, handle it here and now because we don't want to get that parent involved because they're going to blame us and not going to take into account that the kid might have done something wrong or whatever. So I know what those parents are like. I was a teacher once upon a time. So yeah, I get it. I can't yell at the teacher. I can't yell at the students. What can I do? I've spoken to my daughter. I've tried to explain to her how these things may pan out. We've talked about bullying in so many different levels based on so many different movies and she understands. The other person is hurt. The other person is not in a good place and so they're choosing to resort to violence or whatever the case may be to you know prove their point or make themselves feel a little bit more important um so she knows enough not to judge them but i will say this she was very upset in the fact that she couldn't understand why she was being targeted she couldn't understand why they would do this to her not once but twice she didn't understand what she could have done so wrong that they couldn't come to her and speak to her to settle everything rather than that they would rather steal a piece of her property and um, destroy it to a degree and not own up to what's going on. Obviously, you don't want to own up because you don't want to get in trouble. I get that. I was a kid too once. But ideally, you would use your words and not your hands and you wouldn't, you know, take something out on somebody. Also, no, not everybody has that kind of example at home. You do what you know. You do what you've seen before. So if their parents are the kinds of people to you know, pick at each other or do one of those, you know, revenge retaliation kind of deals, they're going to do what they see. Maybe they have older siblings that do that. And so they do what they see. I have no idea. First of all, I don't even know who's bullying her and neither does she. And so I can't speculate because it's not going to get me anywhere. Now back to the choices at hand. I can't yell at the kids. I can't yell at the student care teacher. It's not going to get me anywhere. I can talk to the student care teacher, but even then, I can't force her to do much of anything. I can point out the fact that this is a very serious matter and I can point out the fact that, you know what, I want a resolution. I want to know who it is. But other than that, I don't know what else to do. So there comes this one last person who wanted to talk some sense into me and I appreciate, I appreciate 
the hell out of them because they, like I said, spoke my language. They decided to tell me, you know what? Why don't you write a letter? Why don't you write a letter and state all of the facts? Copy the relevant people because first of all, it's a student care facility. The student care facility is located on a primary school property. The primary school and I have a really long history because baby girl has been going to the school her whole life, right? And I happen to be the chairperson of the Parent Teachers Association. Parent Teachers Association? Parents? Parent Volunteer Association. It's called PIA. It's called Parent in Action, but it's Parent Volunteers is basically what it is, right? And because I have a long-standing history with all these people, and I work there, I'm a familiar face, people know me, I feel like I can effectively get this taken care of. So I did. I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter and I copied the um, the principals, the vice principals, because their emails are listed on the website. And then I copied my department head that I work with closely because I am the chairperson. She and I worked very closely together this year. And then I copied the one contact that I had for the student care facility. In it, I made sure that the teachers and the students, I appreciate all of them. I made sure that my position was clear. I'm not here to point fingers. I'm not here to get anybody in trouble. I'm not trying to start a riot. What I am trying to do is draw attention to a situation that could be very, very serious. Unfortunately, in Singapore, recently, we had a young girl attempt suicide. Luckily for us, she's still with us. She did not succeed. But the fact that she attempted suicide begs the question. Bullying happens. It happens everywhere. I've been bullied. My mom's been bullied. My brothers have been bullied. Everybody's been bullied. But the way things are being handled nowadays with the internet and with social media, it's almost like you can't even pinpoint the bully anymore because they hide behind screen names. They hide behind viral videos. They hide behind 24-7 kinds of activities that you can't really pinpoint to where and what or for why. Who knows? It's hard, right? But that doesn't mean that you don't get shamed on a global scale almost, if the video goes viral. Now, the young lady who attempted her life, right, or made an attempt on her life, did so because of bullying. And here I am sitting with a young daughter. I have fought tooth and nail to make sure that I brought her into this world and I've done everything I possibly can to protect her as much as possible and teach her as much as possible so that she will be able to be self-sufficient and walk confidently through this world. But she's also being bullied right now. And it's at that age where things are already starting to change. Um, She's getting into the higher grades. She's in the upper levels of primary school right now. Things are getting harder at school. She's having a tough time with academics already, right? She's already been singled out as that American kid because she has cornrows and box braids when she goes to school which does not look like anybody else in the school at all right she speaks a little bit different from she's from the u.s she's got an accent and even now more than anything else she's going to get a lot of flack for being in the media she recently did a short film called supergirl and i couldn't be more pleased and i think she stood for all the right reasons right i think it was a great story but even then not everyone's going to appreciate the fact that she has these opportunities or that she's doing these kinds of Um, projects. So I don't know where the malice is coming from. I don't know why this little person is picking on my kid. But yeah, I had to put mama bear aware away. (laughs) Mama bear away. And I had to think with my diplomatic hat instead. I had to come at from a point where the principal knows that I'm not accusing anybody. I'm not trying to start a fire anywhere. I'm not trying to go, you know, viral by posting a video and naming everybody. I'm not trying to make an example out of everybody. I'm not trying to write a letter to MOE, even though that's pretty damn common here in Singapore. I want a resolution. I want to know who did it. I want to know why. And then I want to know how we can make sure that this doesn't happen a third time to baby girl and it doesn't happen a first time to anybody else either. So I wasn't sure how to go about it, but I think the letter will do the trick. I tried to be very, very middle of the road. I tried to not be angry when I wrote it. I tried to make sure that I stated the facts as they were and explain my concern. My concern over her privacy, her safety, her mental health, her personal belongings. Because guess what? If she has to worry about those things, chances are other people do too. They just maybe haven't come forward about it. They haven't said anything about it. So my whole point here is to prevent and protect all the kids in the school, which makes 
sure that if the bully were to ever be bullied themselves, that they would have some protections in place for them as well. So I don't know if I did the right thing. I'm not sure if I made life even more difficult for baby girl in the meantime because tomorrow is the last day of student care for the December holidays. Next week, school starts all over again. And like I said, this kid, whoever's bullying baby girl, goes to the same school she does. I don't know if she's in the same age group as them or not, but I don't want to make it any more difficult. I've had situations in the past where I handled a bullying situation for my brother and I stepped in and I fought the kid and I scared the shit out of them. But guess what? I don't go to that school. My brother was four years younger than I was. So as a kid, I thought I was doing the right thing to protect my brother. Guess what? Every time I walked away from that situation, he got it double time from those same kids. And so he stopped telling me these things. And here I was thinking he wasn't telling me. So that means I fixed the situation, not knowing that he was being bullied even more. So like I said, not trying to start a fire, not trying to like, you know, point fingers at who did what and who's incompetent. None, none of that. I want to highlight the fact that the teachers are overworked. It's hard to keep an eye on everybody. It's hard to know what the dynamic is between all of the kids, even though you see them all damn day, right? And even then, I need them to know that whoever this kid is, probably hurting. Either from home or from school, I don't know. But he's hurting, and that's the only reason that I can think of that they would target anybody, much less my daughter, to pick on. The other thing is, I know that on an adult level, I can fix the situation. I can get everybody involved, we can get to the bottom and figure out who and why. We can just ask the question, right? But on the student level, I can't stop them from continuing to pick on Gaia. I can't stop them from, you know, escalating their efforts because they feel like, oh my God, now you're targeting me. You think you found me? Let me watch this. You can't stop me. That kind of thing. So I need to make sure she's prepared. I need to know that she understands the risks involved with me getting involved. But I also don't want her to think that she can't come to me because I make things worse. Because that's part of the reason I didn't go to my parents. Because they made it worse. Whenever my uh, my mom would come down to the school and say something, the teachers would look at me like, oh my God, what the hell? So they would mark me or they would mark my parent through me. You hear what I'm saying? So lots to consider. I hope I did the right thing. Only time will tell. I'll figure it out tomorrow, I guess. But I let the people know, the people who I thought would be relevant in this case. And I was trying to be as level-headed as possible. I tried to make sure that they understood that I'm not out for blood but I am out for a resolution. So let me know in the comments what you think I did right or wrong. I don't care. It's already done. I can't really change it, but I would love to know your opinion after the fact. Um, but in the meantime, pay attention to the kids around you, to the adults around you. Bullying has its own signs. People, their, their behavior changes. Baby girl has been fighting me a lot over the last couple of months, and I wasn't sure why. And I'm guessing it's because of this social dynamic within the student care itself. But I can't fix that, and I can't tell her what to do or what not to do because I'm not physically there to watch it. So whenever I am privy to some of that information, I tell her the best that I can. And other than that, it's trial and error on her part. she got to figure it out for herself because one day I won't be there, and she's going to have to handle it. So, gosh, I hope I gave her the right advice. We'll see what happens. But I was definitely angry, and I wanted to do some things, but I can't afford to. I'm not about to throw everything that I've been working towards away because I know anger is not going to fix this situation. All right? So I'll catch you guys later and pray for me. I'm hoping for a good resolution on this one. Bye.